I'm gonna try to get a who is it? Bojang. Who is it? Gives biscuits. Yeah, Bojangles. Bojangles. I'm gonna see if I make a freaking deal. If you hold the other team under 38% shooting, you make damn biscuits available. <laughs> That's ridiculous. The last 30 seconds, hell, I wanted to get the ball and shoot it. I thought he, he got major points for shooting bad shots, but uh, I thought in the second half we did a lot better defensively. Uh, first half we turned it over way, way too much. Uh, didn't get what we wanted. Second half, about the only thing for a long stretch, the only thing I was disappointed in is. Uh, going to the free throw line, if you want to play basketball, you're supposed to go to the free throw line and make free throws and keep the other team off the free throw line. We did that for a good bit of the first part of the second half. But uh, look down there, four guys in double figures. We played a lot of guys. We had problems with the printer and problems with the copier. I can't tell how many minutes. I looked down there, Luke played two minutes. That's a, he set a record. He had four fouls and 11 shots in two minutes. So it's a hell of a night for everybody. Uh, but it's a, it's a W. We did play better. Uh, didn't shoot the ball. Guys, we're a really good shooting team. One of these games, we're going to make a lot of shots. I hope it's in my lifetime. But uh, six for 24 is not very good. Uh, um, I think that one thing for us, we were more gifted. It helped us that uh, uh, Kaycock got in free throw. I mean, he got in foul trouble early. That helped us a great deal. But, uh, you know, we sh they shoot 35%. We shoot 49.3 because we took four terrible shots in the last 30 seconds and won biscuits. Can we ask Bojangles if they do that? We can work on that. All right, let's do it. See if we can get biscuits for everybody if we play defense one possession a game. Uh, <laughs> is, is, it's a W. C.B. McGrath's one of my favorite people in the world. He's like a son to me. I love him to death. And they, he's the only guy I know that's got fewer home games than we do. Uh, at his level, he's got to play a lot of uh, games to try to get money. He's got to play a lot of games to get a schedule. But he only has 14 home games. You know, in our league, we have 16. I think that's the fewest. Uh, some guys have gotten 20 and 21, but uh, CB's got a tough schedule, and um, I was hoping that we'd be one of those tough games for him, and I think we were. It's an interesting day. Uh, I watched TV for almost three hours today, uh, and it wasn't Sports Center. Most I've ever watched anything that uh, wasn't Sports Center, except about the hurricane. But uh, President Bush was. Uh, uh, kinder, gentler person that uh, set an example for what we uh, need to be as a country. And I was very appreciative of what he did for us. And I've got a funny story, and then I'll leave. Anybody need anything? You got enough crap? Yeah. That's when you said earlier in your radio show that you had a coach effort. Did you see that effort reflected today? Better, but not where we want it to be. But better, yes. You uh, kept them in. You kept them in the locker room till like thirty seconds before. We had, a mal we had a malfunction. We've got printer problems. We got defense problems, turnover problems. Our damn manager can't count five minutes left during the halftime. So. Can you? Uh, no, I, I didn't know how much time it was. Just listen to what I said. I said the damn manager couldn't tell me it's five minutes. Right. <laughs> but I, I mean, looked up and it was thirty seconds. You talked to him at halftime. Did, did, what did you tell him at halftime? I told him we sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these are required, right? Yeah, it's ACC rule that I have to have press conferences. I've got a real good thing for it to shut up asking stupid questions. <laughs> How about one more? Okay. What was the difference in that stretch in the second half? We were more active. I mean, we sweated more. Is sweated a word? Yes. Okay. Pardon? Sweat? It is now. Yeah, I know, no. My wife's an English teacher. I'll hear this. Uh, we were better in the second half. We had more effort. Our traps helped us a little bit, too. But uh, uh, we were better, yeah. Now, do you want to hear that? Yes. This, this better be good. With, with only four games in December, though, yeah. there's a lot more practice time. I know you got exams, but how important is this month going to be in sort of forging what you want out of this group? Well, it's, it, you're exactly right, but, it's, but you're exactly wrong. We can't practice. I mean, seriously, we're doing a run and no, we're off tomorrow. We do a run and shoot Friday. We're off Saturday. Sunday, I asked, told them we were going to have the best practice in the history of the civilized world. Okay, and then guess what? On Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, we have one practice. And so it's exams are pretty difficult. And uh, I understand that we give them a ton of time off now. If we can get through the 15th, and after that, we'll have some more practice time that I really think will help us. Yes, but it's. So I'm going to recruit him. All right. No Go more ahead. questions. No, no, no. Coach, I get the President story. Bush story. And then we're done. <coughs> All right. I have a rule that I'll never take a phone call or have anybody if I've got a player in my office. And so I can't remember what year it was or anything like that. But 
uh, I've got a player in my office, and my secretary comes and uh, opens the door, and I look at her like, what are you doing? And she said, Coach, excuse me, but former President Bush is on the phone. And I said, well, tell him we'll call him back. She gave me this look, and so she left. And uh, 10 minutes later, I finished with the player. And uh, so I went in there and said, was that really President Bush or is one of my nutmeg buddies? She said, no, the Secret Service called and everything is President Bush. I said, well, call him. And so I, he got on the phone. I said, President Bush, I apologize, but I have this policy that nobody is important enough to make me stop meeting with one of my players, even the former President of the United States. He laughed. He said, I love that, Coach. He said, let me tell you, Jimmy Nance is the best name dropper in the world. He's the one that told me to call you. And I said, well, good. He said, besides that, can I get two tickets for my, I think it's for my granddaughters for the game on Sunday. So Jimmy Nance told that story. And I think it was Final Four was in Houston in 2010, not when we played, way back then, no, 2010, something like that. And they honored President Bush, H.W. And Jimmy Nance told that story that, yeah, you're so powerful, even a college basketball coach won't take your call. But he was so gracious and understood and said, I like that. And then he had another good say. He said, I wish I could have been able to do that when I was president. I said, you're president. You could have done anything. <laughs>